today. Are you courting cheating? Oh, yes, that's how I got my name, Master Spy. Jenna got some shocking intel. Don't be mad, because I played with your boyfriend. Did you sleep with her? Yes. <laughs> it was her sister the whole time. You're going to do that to me? Yep. I'm here to make y'all's life miserable. Shauna wants to get back with her old guy. Yes, we did have sex. And she's ready to take on his new girl. You want to smack me? Ain't nothing but space and opportunity. Jerry, Jerry, Thanks for coming. Welcome to the show. My guests today are jilted brides-to-be who are furious other women have ruined their lives. Please meet Jetta. She says her ex-fiance forced her to earn the nickname Master Spy. Jetta, what is going on? I'm here today with my ex-fiance, Stephen, of five years. Yeah. I'm so madly in love with him. I just want to spend the rest of my life with him. Yep. Um, we were supposed to get married about three months ago. Yes. He's such a liar and cheater that that's well, well, going to happen. You just said you loved him and you want to I be do with love him very much, Jerry. I've been with him since I was a junior in high school. But he's a liar and a cheater, you're telling me. Well, I'm hoping maybe one day he'll change and want to be faithful to me like I am him. Have you caught him cheating? Oh, yes. That's how I got my name, Master Spy. You, oh. <laughs> What guy I have wouldn't to. want to go out with you, huh? <laughs> no. So what? Uh, what do you mean? How do you spy on him? Um, have you ever heard of the Sprint Family Locator? You it's mean, for um, the parents to track down their children if they can't find them for safety reasons. Yes. Well, I use mine to track down my man. <laughs> okay. All right, just for the benefit of the guys here in the audience, could you tell us how this works? <laughs> sure. What happens? You, you, you put something... What, I go uh, on the internet, I type in his phone number, and then I put in a password, and it will tell me the exact location, maybe a couple feet away. So, and he didn't know that you had done this? No. Okay, now how did this result in you knowing that he was cheating? About a week ago, yeah. he never came home from work. That's not a good So sign. I went into yeah. my master spy mode. Yeah. Tracked him down, found yeah. out he was at the strip club that my sister works oh. at. So you have a sister who's a stripper? Yes. So you knew he was at the strip club? Yes. When you found out if he was, what did you do? I got in my car. I went down there, oh. walked in to confront him. My sister was on stage, so of course I couldn't pull her off or anything. So I went to confront him and started a big scene. The bouncers ended up kicking me out, yeah. telling me I wasn't allowed to come back. No, they don't allow spies in there. In, uh... <laughs> um, I've been trying to quit a hold of my sister for like the past week. Oh, you think he was messing around with your oh, sister? Oh, I know he was. My sister. Oh. oh, I thought it's one thing he, okay, went to the strip club with the guys and and maybe he shouldn't have done that, but it wasn't a horrible thing. But you're saying now that you think he's having sex with your sister? Yes. Why do you believe that? Because my sister tells me all the time how much she just wants to oh. ask me if she can pay me. Oh. Because he's Wait a so second. hot. Your sister would pay you so she could sleep with him? Yes. And what do you say when she says that? Hey, back off, he's my boyfriend. Yeah, I tell her she's insane, and yeah. that's never gonna happen. Why don't we bring out your sister, find out what's going on. Here's Kayla. <laughs> What happened last week? I have a right to know. I'm your sister. I deserve to know if you're sleeping with him. 
Oh, so now you want to talk to me. Five years, ever since you met him, five years, you left me. You're my sister. Not only my sister, but my best friend. For a week, you've been calling me more than you have in the last five years. So you want to know the truth? Fine. I slept with your man. Yes. Oh, oh man, I want nothing to do with that slut. Oh, I have a slut. I have a slut. I have my slut. About a week ago, yeah. he never came home from work. That's not a good So time. I went into my master spy mode. Yeah. Tracked him down, found yeah. out he was at the strip club that my sister works oh. at. Oh. Um, I've been trying to clear a hold of my sister for like the past week. Oh, you think he was messing around with your oh, sister? Oh, I know he was. Why do you believe that? Because my sister tells me all the time how much she just wants to oh. ask me if she can pay me. So you want to know the truth? Fine. I slept with your man. So I'm the bad guy. I'm the bad boy. You left me. You were supposed to be my sister. 15 years old and you left me to do their thing. Because you know how it was for me. I didn't need to get out. I needed my own space. Why are you sitting home being daddy's little girl? Everything was getting blamed on me. I was taken for you. So wait a second. You're upset with her because while you were a teenager, she left home. Yep. And you had looked up to her. She was your big sister. Yep. And you're saying she's not been in communication with you for five years? Well, <laughs> she barely talks to me because of true? him. He, no, he doesn't want me over. He never <laughs> wants me there. I went through a divorce. Shut up! <laughs> Steven. How did you do that to me? No, of course not. I mean, listen, look at what you have done. You always go through my stuff. You, you're pouring nail polish. So, did you do it? Listen, man. Did you sleep with my sister? Listen, you pour nail polish on my hats, my shoes. You cut the straps off my forces. You're you know, I'm gonna sit Listen for a second. Me. Anyways, listen. So, anyways, you, you throw my shirts away, and it's not just me. I mean, even while I'm at work. Even when I come home from work, you're trying to smell my crotch. You deserve it! Anyway, even when I'm at work, you're texting me, calling me, and just because I'll text you right back, I'm busy. It's called change the oil, yeah, change the tire. You, you know you can't give me 30. my sister? Did you sleep with her? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the same girl for five years. I love you, I mean, Joe! Are you saying that... 
Are you saying you don't want to be with her? No, no, Jerry, I do. I mean, I love this girl. I mean, oh, you do love her. Uh, you guys, uh, Jerry, everybody sleeps with my sister. We um, we um, we um, we um, were proposed. So you you don't want to be with her? Is no, what you're... man, that was just a little <laughs> fling. I mean, I don't want nothing to do with that slut. I think. Oh, I am a What's gonna happen now? Just you two. Uh, me, Jerry. I mean, I. I mean, I just won't forget about it all. I, I mean, I know I messed up, but I mean, I love this girl. Like, I mean, I've been with her five years. She's been through me through thick and thin. And yes, I know I messed up, and I know it's wrong, but people do make mistakes, and I mean, I'm really sorry. And you want to be back with her? Yes, sir. I don't think so, Jerry. No, babe. No, babe. <laughs> yeah, <come on>. <laughs> baby, baby. Baby, look, man, after everything we've been through and everything that you, you have done for me, I've done for you, I, sw I, I swear I'll never yeah, do it wrong again. do for me? What, do my sister? <laughs> Babe, come on. Because the past five years, you know, there has been times when everything has been great. Everything. Everything, anything, my job, I mean, I buy you whatever, paychecks. I, I pay the bills, and yet you're going to risk messing up my job, calling, saying I'm always cheating when I'm at work for my paycheck. me risk it? You risk it. Every time I turn around, you cheat on me. Then you're going to go as far as sleeping with my sister? No, listen, I'm sorry for that. That was very messed up. That's yes. blood! That okay. ain't just, that ain't just some random ass bitch. She's not random. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, gonna... So here, look, here's the deal. So let's assume just for the moment, I mean, everyone admits that's horrible, wrong, etc. But let's assume for the moment that he would never do that with your sister again. That's never gonna happen again. What about the rest of the cheating? Because she's concerned that you're not committed to her, even though you come on and say, I love her, I want to be with her. The fact she's saying that you cheat all the time, do you? Um, I mean, I have cheated on her before. Yes, he cheats, he's a cheater. Okay, well, here's the deal. He continues to cheat because you always take him back. I ain't this time. No. I ain't this time, Jerry. Maybe, maybe that. It's not about you, and it's not about him, it's about my kids. And I don't care about you or him. I'm here to make y'all's life miserable, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I make my life miserable. Whoa. Just because you're miserable don't make mine. You want to smack me? Ain't nothing but space and opportunity. <laughs>
I have told you time and time again, and just like I told him, I don't have neither one of y'all to do. He doesn't take care of his kids like he's supposed to. I got to look on Facebook and see that y'all got all these happy family pictures while my kids don't have nothing. He doesn't do nothing for my kids, and he's supposed to be father of the damn year. Stop playing. You out here trying to play like you the victim. Well, I'm the victim. I'm the one who has to deal with the kids. I'm the one who has to deal with crying kids at night saying, where's my dad? Where's my dad? Why are you making a family with him? Did you stop and think about how I felt when you were sitting up there laying up having a kid with him and he doesn't take care of the ones that he has? That's not my fault. He left well, you. Let it me wasn't tell working you out. something, sweetie. Go ahead. Yes, when he came over to see the kids, they weren't de there, and yes, we did have sex. Why break up my family? It's not about you, and it's not about him. It's about my kids, and I don't care about you or him. I'm here to make y'all's life miserable, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Just because you're miserable don't make mine. My son and your son are brothers. Why break up the... If y'all care about our, our kids being family and all the rest of that stuff, then why doesn't he come and get them like he's supposed to? He does You ain't saying nothing them. about that. And we that's why he stay in your house for half an hour while I'm out in the car waiting for well, him. Well, if you knew how to control your man, then he wouldn't be in my house for a half hour. I'm here today, and you talking all that stuff out here, playing like you're a victim and all the rest of that stuff. So let me let you know. You want to smack me? Ain't nothing but space and opportunity. So let me tell you something. Okay, I understand why you're What's feeling that, upset. Hey, how are you? I understand why you're feeling upset, okay? Because you don't think, and you may be absolutely right, that he's not taking responsibility he for don't. the children he has with you. Being upset with her, I'm not sure I get that because she had nothing to do with you two breaking up. How are you laying up with somebody who's not taking care of their responsibility? And then you want to act like something is wrong with me? She's not out here telling the whole entire story. Okay. I don't have that had to do at all period either you're going if you're going to lay up with somebody and they have other kids how is he out here making another kid he don't even take care of the ones he got how dumb can you be yeah okay there you go. He makes me wait in the car for half an hour while he picks up his kids because she won't let me in the house. Well, what's he doing in the house for a half hour? That's oh, that's what you yeah. worry about. Yeah. You stupid bitch. Oh. He doesn't take care of his kids like he's supposed to. I got to look on Facebook and see that y'all got all these happy family pictures while my kids don't have nothing. He doesn't do nothing for my kids and he's supposed to be father of the damn year. Stop playing. You out here trying to play like you the victim. Well, I'm That's the victim. Not my fault. He left well, you. let it me wasn't tell working out. you something, sweetie. Go ahead. Yes, when he came over to see the kids, they weren't de there. And yes, we did have sex. Oh! All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's bring him out. I'll let you talk to him. Hit a spell. Come on with it. Let me just hear from him, him from a second. What What's she is saying that you're not helping take care of the children you had with her, having nothing to do with her. You love her, you've got a relationship with her. Yeah. That's aside. Right now, is she right in saying you're not really doing your part in taking care of your children with her? I mean, I'm, Jerry, I'm like, I'm doing what I can to take care of the kids, you know? Yeah. I'm not sitting there on beck and call like she want me to and everything, yeah. running back and forth, but I'm doing what I can, which she should be appreciative for, but you're not. Jerry, ask him how many school recitals has he been to? Ask him was he there when they graduated okay. kindergarten. How many school recitals have you been to? No. None. I'm there 
Did you ever, every morning you getting them up and getting them dressed? Me? Did you ever tell me? You're right there. You should you already know. Do I got to tell you? Getting them on air. You know damn well I'm gonna get him on air. He's three months old. You okay. got his name tattooed. What is tattooed? Tattoo? You already? Okay, what's tattooed there? On a little baby son, King. With it? Yeah, with her. Oh, but you don't. <laughs> but you don't have the tattoos of her, the children you've had with her. No. And well, why is that? <gasps> They're ten and eleven. Ten and eleven. <laughs> true yeah I mean why would you do that what you mean why you know I what you did you. wrong you know I love you. you know what you did wrong what as soon as you had the baby what months and months we had sex and everything I that's just an obligation to give it to me I'm tired I wake up in the middle of the I'm night I'm tired too well, I'm busting my head all day to take care of stuff you don't wake we up with too. him in the middle it's of the night girl, I wake up with him constantly <laughs> you feel me and this whole time you're sitting there you're talking about I'm tired uh, I don't feel like doing it that's the obligation sometimes I feel to make, you know what I mean? That's a must. Come on now, that's a must to have, you know? If I'm tired, you she mean, just, but she just, it's three months. She's just had your baby, and you know she's up the the women are the ones that are up all night feeding the child, taking care of the child. <laughs> not true. I mean, it's three months. Yeah, yeah, if it's two months, years down the road, then you got something to say. It's but like right a, afterwards. Yeah, but I feel like a caged animal, you know, like a ticking time bomb or something. So why they, I mean, you had to release that tension, you yeah. know? The sex was whack anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Oh. Refresh my memory of how small it was. Oh, whatever. You already know. Come on now. Sex Come for on. you. Oh, whatever, man. Come on now. Well, what's going to happen here? What? Yeah. What do you two want to say to each other? He's cheated on me before when I was pregnant. Oh. You should have been doing what you're supposed to do. You did what you're supposed to do. You wouldn't have to worry I about that at all. I was pregnant with your son. What else Still, do you want way. from me? Either way, you didn't have to do that. You need to do what you're doing to do. Do what you're supposed to do. And then you and have to worry about that. what you're supposed to do is cheat on me when I'm pregnant? You do it again. Just leave me with sex. I'm going to do it again, probably. I'm being honest. <laughs> This over here, yeah, was a mistake. Crazy is it? No, I'm busting. You okay. You was a mistake. You listen to that, and I'm going to assume you're reasonably intelligent, as I am with you. Why do you guys put up with that? Because I love him. I've been with him for four years now, and I have a son with him. Well, I know you have a son with him, but that can't be the sole reason you stay with somebody. Because right. if it's going to be a bad example, I'm not saying she should leave you or not, but I'm saying... You can't feel trapped. No child wants to grow up in a home where the parent, where the child grows up thinking that mom is there just because she feels trapped. That's not teaching them anything. <laughs> I'm not saying you should, but now that you think, you, you see what he's complaining about. Without making a, I'm not making any judgment whether he's right or wrong, but is it possible for you to be more sensitive to what he wants? Yes, but he's also going to have to change. The cheating, that's got to stop. You got to start waking up with your son. I'm not going to keep waking up with him 24-7 because you're tired. Are you going to be faithful to her? Honestly. Honestly? Are you really going to be faithful to her? I'm going to try, but she oh. don't... <laughs> Like you don't know me. You know who I am. I don't know who you are. Brittany, there's something I gotta tell you before you get married. You know I have Amber? Sex with your fiance. <laughs> Come back.
back. My guests want to stop a wedding. Please meet Paula. She says she'll do anything to get her daughter's fiance out of her life. Paula, what is going on? Uh, Jerry, my daughter, Brittany, she is 19, and she has a scumbag for a boyfriend. Oh. And I'm going to get rid of him. You don't want her to have a scumbag of a boyfriend. That's right, and she's yep. not going to. How long have they been together? They've been together about four years. Oh, so this is obviously a serious relationship. It is, but... What don't you like about him? Well, he's just, he's a lazy bum. He won't work. He don't support her. He don't support the new baby that they have. Ooh, oh. Okay. Now, have you not been liking him from the get-go? Jerry, when she was um, seven months pregnant, yep. she was at my house. Yep. He um, came up my driveway, because we live in a trailer. He came up my driveway. I walked out on the porch and I said, um, turn around, go back down the driveway, because you're not coming up here. He kept ignoring me, wouldn't listen to me. So I took my fat ass down the steps after him. <laughs> and I had pepper spray in my pocket. You pepper sprayed yes, him? I pepper sprayed him. <laughs> he said, I did. And Paula, Paula, Jerry, Paula. you should you should have seen him when I pepper sprayed him. He grabbed a hold of his eyes, went running back down that hill, crying, Mama, Mama, Mama. I said, Yeah, Mama. Has he ever come back? Yeah, of course, she let him come back. You ran out of pepper spray. What happened? No, I've got plenty more. Okay. How, your daughter's 19 now. Yeah. And I admit that's still young, but at some point, they get to make their own decisions, even if we as parents think it's not particularly a great one. But they got to make their own decisions about who they love. And if he's not abusing her, then you got to give a little space, don't you? I mean, this is for four years, so it's hard to say it's just a fling. Jerry, she, she graduated from high school. She was going to college to be a lawyer. And she put all of this behind her because he is so jealous of her. You know, yeah. he don't want her going anywhere or doing now, nothing. Now, what does she say to you when you say, look, all these things, he's not doing anything with his life. He's discouraging you from advancing your own. What she, did she say? She says, oh, mom, I love him. I don't care if you love him. I'll find you a nice man that has, you know, that will support you that, to love, you know? Yeah, so. okay. Well, I tell you what, let's, oh, his name's Michael. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't have any pepper spray on you now, do you? No, no. All right, here's Michael. in my daughter's life. Listen here, you crazy old bitch. You stay the hell out of her life. How about that? How about you, crazy bitch? I'm going to marry her here today. That's the reason why I got this tux on. It uh, don't matter what the uh, hell you say. Hell no, you're not. No, you're not. Not my daughter. Yeah, you'll see. Yeah, Watch we'll see. see. Yeah. What, wh why don't you two get along? I mean, clearly she shouldn't have pepper sprayed you, but I wish she'd do it again so I didn't have to look uh, at her ugly old ass. If I had to, if I had to pepper spray her, I would pepper spray you. Now, why do you think she doesn't like you? Honestly, I think she's jealous because she can't have her daughter all the time. She wants her all the time like she's a little baby. Okay, but she does say, she did say... No, I want her to have a real man, honey. She says you don't... A real, real man. man. She does got what? a... He's right here. I take what? care of her. Who's been feeding her for the past four years? You call that a real man? Do you call that a real man? I got your real man hanging, do you, Yeah. Do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, let's meet Brittany here. Here's Brittany. No, Brittany, no. I'm not no. I make no. my own decisions. No. I'm not to make no. my own decisions. I no. love them. No. I love okay, him. What, what is the love? I love him. What is there to love? We want to be together. I love him. No. Find yes. you a real man. He is a real no, man. No, you're not doing this. We're getting no, married. No, you're not yes, doing this. Yes, we are. No, you're We're not. getting married today. No, you're not. No. Today, Mom. No, no you're not. Okay. 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 So tell me something. Uh, does Mom have a point? I mean, are you really happy, or do you, when he's not here and the cameras aren't rolling, are you really complaining to her and saying, oh, he won't get out and get a job? No, Jerry, I'm really happy with you're him. You're really happy he's with him? He's got a I'm job. I'm not telling you you shouldn't be. I'm, I'm honestly asking. 
He's got a job, Jerry. He takes care of us. And he does take care Every of Every day. Me. Mom, I'm hungry. Will you come and get me and bring me some meat? I don't think oh, hunger's a problem here, us. okay? <laughs> no, I mean, you're, you're living a nice life. Uh, you're... Uh, no, I'm saying... What I mean is, you, we don't need a telephone here. You're doing well. <laughs> who is Amber? Who is Amber? Well, here's Amber. Don't act like you don't know me. You know who I am. I don't know who you are. Brittany, there's something I gotta tell you before you get married. You know I Amber? I have your fiance. We oh! Told you he was a piece of crap, Brittany. When? Last summer, we met up at the fishing hole. We caught a big ass fish. I got drunk, so we had sex. I mean, With my friend? Why couldn't it have been somebody it else? Was, it was just a one. It was just. She don't mean nothing. She means nothing. I, I'm sorry. Do you still want to marry him? daughter Brittany. She is 19 and she has a scumbag for a boyfriend. He kept ignoring me, wouldn't listen to me, so I took my fat ass down the steps after him <laughs> and I had pepper spray in my pocket. You pepper sprayed yes, him? I pepper sprayed him. <laughs> you're not doing this. We're getting no, married. No, you're not yes, doing this. Are. No, you're we're not. getting married. No, today. you're not. No. You know I have Amber? Sex with your fiance. We <laughs> know each other. We're friends. Okay, so you're friends. Oh, not that close a friend, because apparently when you're at the fishing hole with him, you, uh, you grabbed your rod and, uh, fishing. Fishing. And you caught a big one. So here's my question. The fishing. Stop it. Why is everything, everything like that? So here, here's what I don't get. You obviously, you had sex with her, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you, you love her? Yes, I do, Jerry. If you love her, why are you sleeping with her friend? I mean, I was... does, it, does her mother have a point that you're still young, you're still messing around? No, she don't. She don't have a point at all. I love this girl. Then why'd you I'm, sleep I'm with her? Marry this girl. Why'd you sleep with her? The fish weren't biting? What? What? <laughs> Well, I, I went, I went, and drunk, and I got drunk, so we had sex. I mean, with my friend? Why couldn't it have been somebody it else? Was, it was just a one. It was. Just, it was just a one-time thing. Yeah, she, I think she we, don't. Yeah. She don't mean nothing. She means nothing. I, I'm sorry. We'd like to restate that argument. Yeah. But you love me. Yes, I do. Okay. If but what happens me, the next you time you get drunk? Are you going to sleep with someone else when no. you get drunk? It was, it was an accident. It was a mistake. It's a mistake. You gonna be able to trust him? Please forgive me. And she don't <laughs> She means nothing. She means nothing to me. How do I know you're not gonna do That's it That's a again? beautiful proposal. I'm not going to. <laughs> you have a lot of making up to do. I can't just forgive you. Do you still want to marry him? Yeah, he's got a lot of making up to do, though. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Michael, first time I looked in your eyes, I fell in love with you. I've never seen eyes so pretty until I saw our son's eyes. And I knew we'd be you together forever. You may want to get forever. your hands out of your pocket. One day. I love you with all my heart. Baby, I love you. I'll always take care of you and our son. I promise Liar. to honor and cherish you <laughs> till the Liar. end. I promise to get a good job so <laughs> I can take care of you <laughs> and our son. And I promise to never hurt you again. When Funny. I, when I proposed I to you at Walmart, I meant no. everything I said to you. I at love Walmart. You, baby. Oh, with all the places that I screwed to marry at at Walmart. <laughs> Now, if you're wondering why we're so happy here today, it's because we have a whole bunch of students from URI. <laughs> so at this moment, the campus is vacant. <laughs> and how happy are the professors? Okay. All right, who is question? Yes, I'll start with you, sir. I got a question for the uh, stripper in the pink. What's worse, getting your sister sloppy seconds or uh, the guy that you want looks like the long lost Beverly Hillbilly? No. for the uh, guy in the tux. Were you going fishing or whaling? <laughs> the question is right here in the middle. Which stripper was better, the scarecrow or the tin man? My question is for the newlyweds. Did you honestly think those clothes would cover up those rednecks? Producers have decided that you will take us into the break. We'll be right back with Jerry's final thought. Yeah! You are the fuck. You are my soul. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for being on the show and good luck in the decisions that you make. I hope you find some happiness. Good luck to you. You know, we've heard it before. A woman enters a relationship with a man hoping to change him. A man enters a relationship with a woman hoping she'll never change. The truth is, if that's the case, both are likely to be disappointed. I mean, with today's show, are these guys likely to change their ways? Will they give up the other women? Even if they promise for the moment, it's unlikely to be a lasting promise unless the woman says and means that they'll leave unless there's an immediate change. And the guy really believes that she will and suddenly decides that the woman in his life is too important to lose. You see, these men will continue to behave as the women in their lives permit them to behave. And merely crabbing about it isn't enough. So long as the guy deep down knows that, oh, yeah, she'll complain, but she really won't do anything about it, well, then he won't change. As difficult as it is, the woman has to decide how much this behavior is really bothering her. And if it's too much to handle, she just can't whine about it or threaten. She has to mean it 
and let him know that she really will leave for good. Then the choice is his, but be ready to leave. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.